today we're going to put together everything we've kind of learned, uh, particularly about the perpendicular bisector theorem, and we're going to use this stuff uh, to, to write equations of bisectors in the coordinate plane. Before we actually get started, there's a few things we need to review. The first of which is point-slope equation of a line, and that is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity of x minus x sub 1. Um, looking at somewhat of an example there of what that means is that example is that if we had the equation y minus, I don't know, 3 is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 1. What this means is that um, this y sub 1 and x sub 1 is a point that this equation goes through, that this slope or that this, this line goes through. So this point that this line would go through is your x coordinate, which is our 1, and our y coordinate, which is 3. Notice that it's positive 1 and positive 3. That's because point slope equation is y minus x minus, and we have y minus x minus. So we subtracted 1 and 3. Um, and then also what this equation tells us is that our slope, simply our m, our slope is 2 in this case. So this is a reminder of point slope equation of a line. A second thing that we need to review is the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula says x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. Basically you add the x's divide by 2. And y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. And again you add the y's you divide by 2. What this means is that if we want to find the midpoint uh, between, or the midpoint of, the midpoint between two points, let's say just random points, 1, 2, and the point 3, 4. The midpoint, mean, midpoint formula means what we would do is you add the x's, we would say 1, plus 3, and we divide by 2, and then we add the y's and divide by 2. So we would say 2 plus 4 divided by 2. And that's what the midpoint formula tells us. And the last piece of review information is simply a quick statement that the slopes of perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. And that's it for review, and now we can jump into some new material. So using our past material and our new information about perpendicular bisectors, what we want to do is write an equation in point-slope form for the perpendicular bisector of the segment with endpoints uh, A, which is at 5, 2, and B, which is at 1, negative 4. So we have a few steps that we're going to do um, to end up at our end goal. And that first step we're going to be taking is to graph the segment AB. And so we will need a coordinate plane to do this. And once we have a coordinate plane, we can graph our points. Let's start with the point A, uh, which is at 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2 up. So we have our point A. And then B is at 1, negative 4. And so we can graph B. And then we do have a segment. So we can go ahead and complete that segment. And now we, knew, we now have our segment that we want to find the perpendicular bisector to. Um, so moving on to step two then, what we first need to realize is that this perpendicular bisector that we're looking for, perpendicular bisector occurs at, and because of the word bisector, it occurs at the midpoint. And so because it occurs at the midpoint, we now need to find the midpoint of AB. That is step two. To find the midpoint, we will use the midpoint formula, which you should have in your notes from before. But the midpoint formula is going to be x sub 1 plus over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. 
let's actually do this calculation. What we're doing is we're adding the x's together. We're doing 5 plus 1, and we divide by 2. And then we do 2 plus negative 4 divided by 2. And if you didn't catch that, where we got that from is a is 5, 2, and b is 1, negative 4. Uh, continuing with this calculation, we see that we have 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 2, and 2 plus negative 4 is a negative 2 divided by 2. And finally, you have 3 comma negative 1. That's because 6 divided by 2 is 3, and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So if you were actually to look at our diagram, um, back at our graph, we graphed AB. The midpoint, you can probably tell by the picture, and of course I drew the picture slightly off, but your midpoint is going to be at 3, negative 1. Your midpoint is going to occur right there, and it looks like that is correct. So just taking a guess, your perpendicular bisector will look something like this. I'm going to move on to a next page, um, and from there we can find the slope, and then we can actually write the equation of it. For point slope form of an equation, we need a point and a slope. Uh, we just found a point, which as you remember is 3, negative 1. So now we need to find a slope. Uh, to find that slope, luckily we have the slope formula. A slope formula, uh, we can say that m is equal to, and what we're doing is it's rise over run. We subtract the y's, so maybe y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We subtract the y's and we divide by subtracting the x's. So we do have two points. Remember that a was at the point 5 comma 2 and b was at the point 1 comma negative 4. And so now we go along and really we're just plugging in. We have our y which is 2 and negative 4. And so we're going to plug this in. We say that we have negative 4 mi minus 2 over uh, 1 minus 5. And now simplifying this, we have negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. It is not negative 2. Uh, so be careful with that arithmetic. Negative 6, and then you have 1 minus 5. Uh, which is going to give you negative 4. Simplifying this then, it's you have two negatives. You have a negative divided by a negative, which becomes a positive. So you have positive, simplifying, you have positive 3 over 2. And now we now have the slope. The problem is, is that these points, we have the points A and B. These are your original segment. Um, what that means is that this is they are not for the perpendicular bisector. What does that mean? We need to change this slope. This slope of 3 over 2 is the slope of the original segment not the perpendicular bisector. To find the slope of the perpendicular bisector, that was a reminder I gave at the beginning. It's the opposite reciprocal. So we have the opposite reciprocal gives you a slope of m is equal to opposite. Opposite would be we have a positive 3 halves, so now we have a negative. And now reciprocal, all you do is flip that fraction. Negative 2 over 3. We now have our slope, and as I told you before, we have a point as well. All we have to do now is put it together, and that is step 4. Step 4, which simply says to put the information together in point-slope form. Which point-slope form is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. So we're going to have a y minus our y value, if you remember our y value, is a negative 1, is equal to our slope that we just found is negative 2 thirds 
times the quantity of x minus 3 which is from uh, the point that we the midpoint that we found earlier now let's just simplify we have y minus a negative 1 you can do a little slash and dash that turns into just a positive so we're left with y plus 1 is equal to negative 2 thirds x minus 3 and because we wanted to find it in point slope form because we're looking for point slope form as the original problem told us we're actually done this is our equation uh, we do not need to simplify any further and that is all we're doing um, of course there's a lot more application to uh, perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors but for today all we're learning in this lesson is how to write the equations of the bisectors in the coordinate plane and so that will be it for today